more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Bavarians is for your man and you too. What did you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. And now, breaking the seal all over the finer things of life, Greg, Scott, and Dan. That's right. Welcome in, everybody. It is us. It is we. It's the Unfiltered Gentlemen. I am Greg over there with Scott. <coughs> What's up? Okay. Oh, and that's Dan. What up? Anybody feeling any uh, chills or fever coming on or cough? Well, Scott's got the cough. I got the cough. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Thanks for braving the outside world right now. Things are crazy. Man. We made it here. I guess if you're going to get locked down somewhere, there's a lot of beer in this in this house, in this studio. That's so. true. In that case, I'm sick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, thank you all for joining us. Thanks for listening. Thanks for drinking along. Hopefully, we can uh, bring some light and some brevity to this real effed up situation that's Maybe going on right normality. now. Maybe some well, normality. Maybe some normality. us, but... Yeah, we're not bringing Better that. than what the, yeah. know, is going on outside. We'll be our normal, not normal selves. Yeah. Uh, in the mean- it's so weird out there to make us look normal. That's true. It's yeah. about time. <laughs> I orchestrated this whole thing. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, our burp word of the week is St. Patty. All right. Yeah, let us not forget that uh, today as this drops, it is St. Patrick's Day. I totally true. fucking forgot. <laughs> I know. I did. <laughs> it's One of the most important holidays of the year canceled. True. Some horse Man. shit. So St. Patty is our burp word of the week. Shout out to, and I'm going to fuck this up, Magdeburg. Nailed it. Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Magdeburg, uh, over there in Germany. Thanks, Magdeburg, yeah. Magdeburg, wherever. Uh, please, somebody call in and tell me how to properly pronounce that. Yeah. Clearly, someone's listening over there. So the top listening city of last week, this is how you know I don't make it up, Magdeburg, Germany. Yeah, you couldn't make that up. No. I would I would pick something I could say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Berlin. Right. <laughs> uh Munich. There we go. There, there you yeah, go. It is. Munich, it is. Berlin, Berlin. But wherever uh, Magdeburg, Germany is, somebody over there, 805538 beer. Tell me how it said. Thank you guys for listening and apparently spreading this like a virus amongst your friends. <laughs> uh, don't forget. Oh, too soon. Ooh. Don't forget to hashtag show us your beers on the social medias. Those haven't broken down yet. Uh, rate and subscribe on your favorite podcast app, whether it's iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever you got. We're on it. Rate and subscribe. Uh, we got a lot to get to. We have our March Madness tournament, which at this point, the only sport left in March. Pretty much. So uh, you're welcome. <laughs> we we have banned the audience, but we're still going to go on with the tournament. Yeah, we are going to do it sans audience. Today, <laughs> That's true. Unfortunately. God so, dang. Yeah, but uh, you're welcome. We're keeping the sports alive over here. We could be on studio. ESPN right we now. We should be. <laughs> the Ocho. At this point, <laughs> yeah, I was tuning into the radio station. They're talking about what's on Netflix right now. <laughs> they got oh, nothing going on right now, dude. Uh, it's either Corona or man, we got to struggle to find something. That's right. Yeah, that's God, right. I don't envy, envy their job at no, all. No, that's that's a lot of air to fill with yep. not a lot going on. Nothing. So uh, we will talk, or we will have our tournament. We'll also have a little crotch talk. There is surprisingly a little bit of sports news, mainly out of the football world. Yes, uh, we've got some booze news to get to as well. Uh, let's kick things off and break right in to our tournament. All right, gentlemen, each of you have an A and a B glass in front of you. Go ahead and start digging in and, and okay. getting your samples ready. You had to make sure I had the right letter over here. Yes. Uh, I'll tell everybody what's going on. Last two shows the first two shows of march we started the march madness tournament and in game one oscar blues took the win over firestone walkers flyjack so one e won over flyjack in a surprising defeat but uh flyjack was the underdog and could not pull through so this week we have the first round winner oscar blues one e taking on the first round by stone brewing's never ending haze for those of you who don't know, this is a blind taste test. The gentlemen have two glasses in front of them, one with an A, one with a B. They don't know what's what. I have a note that I have turned over that tells me which one it is. I will not grade these unless it needs a tie breaker. And then I will reveal the winner. And whoever wins this week moves on to the finals. Wow. Yes. That's exciting news. It's getting down to the finals. 
We might need to extend this for all the sports fans that can't watch sports. <laughs> Good no, news, right? everybody. Wrestling is still going on, just uh, no crowd. <laughs> Santa's that's crowd. The dumbest thing ever. Yeah, that's that's weird to watch. You can't. Just go watch old WrestleManias. Yeah, you can't have wrestling without the crowd. It's like, you know, it's not like sports, actual sports, excuse me. Right. I could watch a basketball game without yeah, a crowd. Because it's a still a competition. Right, exactly. You know, this isn't. It's playing for a crowd that's not there. Exactly. Ugh. Anyways, back to real sports. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you gentlemen have a winner amongst you? Oh, it's B. Oh, is it B? It's damn B. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Back to wrestling. Soon. Thanks, Kurt. <laughs> Scott? I go A. Oh, oh shit. calling it. It's going to overtime. Overtime. Calling in the B team over here. Oh, A team and the B team. Oh, at least they're very different. You know, last week they were yes. extremely similar. Agreed. Hmm. <laughs> they look a lot different. B is much darker than A. Yes. I can almost feel like they you taste like you know what B is going to taste like. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. You know what I'm saying? It's a little, little like, you know, to the listeners, it's a little uh, toasty. Mm -hmm. Say patty. There it is. <laughs> Say right. patty for the win. So A, to me, A has a uh, citrusy nose, but it comes in real light. The flavor is uh, real light to me. Mm. B, I get a little bit of a tropical nose, but it's a real light nose. That's really good descriptions. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Yeah, thank you as I drink. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. A for me. What did you like about A, Scott? I gotta, I gotta hear this. Um, I just think A has a little more of a taste to it than B. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Because I, I do have a winner. Overtime is coming to a halt, mm -hmm. and I have picked B. Oh. So B. Stone Brewing's Never Ending Hay. Oh, oh shit. Sorry, Oscar Blues. Wow, oh, man. You there put you up go. a good fight. Indeed. Very good. Took it into overtime. Yeah, to me, B just lingered a little more, had a little more flavor to Correct. it. Yeah. Uh, a was um, super citrusy, maybe almost a little, just a little too much. It wasn't I like gross or anything. But. I feel like with A, contradictory to what Scott said. I feel like I couldn't really taste anything. Yeah, it's funny. I thought B had a had a bigger flavor right. to it. So, um, but we hey, could have each. a bench clearing brawl. Here. I know. Or <laughs> <laughs> somebody hold us back. This would be on Sports Center. <laughs> yeah. All right. So B, the winner moves on <laughs> to the finals. All right. B, like I said, Stone's never ending haze. I saw you bang that trash can, by the way. Well, you know, had yeah. to get the message across. <laughs> yeah. Somehow. He knew uh, it was coming. Yeah. <laughs> 4%, 35 IBUs, a 372 on Untapped and an 87 on Beer Advocate. From Stone, they say, there is a lot never-ending about IPAs around Stone, beginning with Stone IPA being one of the very first and most popular West Coast-style IPAs on the planet. To our celebrated explorations of double IPAs, session IPAs, fruited IPAs, and ultra-fresh triple IPAs, there is an integral part of our Lakers legacy. Excuse me. Plus, he the Lakers. <laughs> what? I heard he Lakers. Lakers. I said Lakers? It sounded like, sounded so, like Lakers. Yes. <clears throat> Legacy. Excuse me. Plus, it's just we the, miss them so much. Yeah, <laughs> oft said, but not actually true, comments from some that Allstone does is IPAs. Ha, yes, we may love them passionately <laughs> and perpetually be on a quest for IPA Nirvana, but this particular one actually happened onto the scene to aid in your noble, ne wow, noble pursuit of never-ending good times. Long description, I need more beer. That was a long <laughs> description, man. Woo! Like, I thought it was like you already read both beers, but yeah, that was just the yeah. first one. <laughs> oh, I already read the other one uh, in game one. I don't think you need to hear about Oscar Blues again. Did they write ha in the description? They did. Ha! Ha! <laughs> yes. I like that. Unique New York. Unique New York. I work out the mouth there. Mm. Uh, anyway, so Stone moves on. Next week, we'll find out who Stone Stone will face in the championship. Champion. To become, champion. become the champion <laughs> of the March Madness 2020 Healthy Beer Tournament. All right, let's move on to a little bit of crotch talk. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. Oh, well, maybe grievance. Okay. Uh, like I said at the top of the show, try to keep things light. Hopefully entertain for y'alls uh, in this time of weirdness. Also, want to know what you're doing to get through this time of weirdness. Let us know. Are, are you stashing beers? I've seen some some beer supplies on the Instagrams and such. Where it's, <laughs> somebody's like, I went uh, apocalypse shopping today, and it's just a beer or a fridge full of beer. And that's that's my kind of apocalypse shopping. <laughs> we did that over the weekend, too. Now I just need to fill up the kegerator and make sure we're really good for the oh, apocalypse. Yeah. You got so, to get ready. Yeah, I think I might order a uh, uh, ingredients to brew a beer. 
and just have it there ready to go in case, you know, something happens. I can always make my own if I have to. There you go. Don't break into my house and steal my beer, though. Um, speaking of apocalypse shopping, I was at Costco last week, being one of those weirdos that bought water. Sorry, I just needed water. It wasn't <laughs> like a stash and grab kind of thing. Grab and stash. Uh, I saw Ernie Hudson there. Oh, did you really? Winston from Ghostbusters. Oh, shit. <laughs> I looked at him, and, I was, and I'm so bad at recognizing faces. Like, I can't pick out my wife's face in a crowd. It's really, really <laughs> bad. I picked it up for the airport once. I was like, I just, I need you to call me. You'll see my car. I'm right next to you. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I, I see you. Okay, a little bit further. I was like, what sign are you under? Uh, the whatever sign. I was like, I don't see that either. Just how far away am I? She's like, I don't know, like 200 feet. I was like, okay, I'm slowing down. So I'm really bad. So I saw him, I was like, looks familiar so i'm staring i'm trying not to stare too much luckily he's on the phone so he's a little distracted and then it hit me i was like it's the dude from ghostbusters <laughs> that's a big twinkie <laughs> <laughs> and i looked it up and uh we're local out here uh, to hidden hills where a bunch of celebrities live ah. and that's where he lives now so oh cool for vin scully lives too wow <laughs> and the kardashians and all nice. kinds of people so i saw him at, at costco I'm, I'm terrible at recognizing famous people. I'm the worst. I, I have people tell me all the time, like, hey, you know who that was? No, well, that was so-and-so. <laughs> oh, yeah, now that yeah. you mention it. You're just telling us tonight, you used to see Sam Elliott right, all the time. I, yeah, I used to see Sam Elliott. I didn't know Sam Elliott. Or I, did, I knew, well, I didn't know his name, and I didn't know he was a movie star. I didn't recognize him. You anymore. didn't recognize his voice from the Coors commercial? No. <laughs> and somebody told me, hey, do you know who that is? No. Well, that's Sam Elliott. And I'm like, well, who's Sam Elliott? And like, Are you oh, kidding? Man. Oh man! See, and that's kind of rough. I can understand if like you didn't under, like didn't recognize like a celebrity from like the celebrity All Star games, right? I mean, they got a very loose like description of what a celebrity right. is on those shows. Like, oh, so you have fifty thousand Twitter followers? Okay. Right. I think two years from now we're going to be on that game. I think so. They're going to give us the of invite. Course. Yeah. Ready for the alley oop? That's right. Here we go. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm horrible. I used to be on red carpets. I used to r- work red carpets as a camera guy, and like my host would be like, "Oh, here comes so and so," and I'd just be like, "Where?" Right? <laughs> like, they're right there. I'm like, "What? Oh, right in front of me." Yeah. Or they'd be like, "Hey, who's that?" I'm like, "I don't, I don't know who the fuck that is." You yeah. Know? It's just funny. Yeah. Like I like now I don't recognize anybody like famous, quote unquote. Right. But like as far as like movies and stuff like that, I can spot them pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. I I can't. Oh, I can't man. spot it. I'm so bad at it. I am too. Yeah. yeah. Um, what? Uh, who's that famous skateboarder guy? Tony Hawk. Tony, Tony Hawk. Hawk. Yeah, he was there one time. <laughs> oh, he's was super he? tall. And I oh, know yeah, who yeah. he was. Dude's like six four or something. He's huge. Yeah. yeah. And the guy behind him, he goes, "You know who that was?" I go, no. <laughs> that was Tony Hawk. I go, "Oh, yeah." Him, I might recognize. I had a high school history teacher who looked exactly like Tony Hawk. Oh yeah. And back when like Tony Hawk Underground, I think it was the first one, maybe oh, the yeah. second one came out. This is my early Photoshop skills. I got the cover and I photoshopped my teacher's face onto it, which really <laughs> didn't look that different. And then instead of Tony Hawk, I wrote my teacher's name, pro skater, whatever. You know, oh, okay. and get, he framed that thing. He thought it was the coolest <laughs> thing in the world. It was great. Um, all right. So uh, we've been talking about the uh, Corona situation here in California on Sunday. The governor made this proclamation that breweries, wineries, and bars need to close. Yeah. Restaurants need to uh, cut their occupancy to 50%. Mm-hmm. Now, locally, a lot of cities and counties have done, you know, gone even stricter than that. But California, overall, that's the situation. We were at brunch with some friends. We were at a friend's house, or six of us total. We got a text from someone that said, like, oh, did you see the governor? Blah, blah, blah. We went, oh, fuck, they're closing breweries. We immediately called an Uber and went to two breweries. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to keep us away as That's much right. as possible. Yeah. So we, we Ubered over to uh, 14 Cannons, which is you know local out here. We love it. They're one of our faves. And then after some delicious beer, and they have pizza now. Holy shit. The oh, pizzas, wow. Pizzas oh, are man. good. I don't even eat pizza. And they ordered it, and it looks so good. It had chorizo on it. Oh, and it looks so good. I was like, all right, it's the apocalypse. I'm going to have a fucking piece of pizza. There you go. So after that, we Ubered over to these poor guys. There's a brand new one. Their grand opening is supposed to be today, St. Patrick's Day. It's called Petals and Pints. It's the former head brewer at McLeod's uh, down in Van Nuys, which is you know L.A. area for those of you who aren't around here. Uh, he is brewing, not the owner, but he's the head brewer. Anyways, their soft opening was Sunday night. So after 14, we had a couple there. Ubered over to Petals and Pints to, to try it out. Like, man, this is going to be their only day opening for like the next six months. God, what a so, bummer. Yeah, so we went there. And right after we left, they, they post on social media like, hey, sorry, we're closed for the foreseeable future. Uh, they also had some good pizzas too. Nothing with chorizo on it, but uh, right. some some pretty decent pizzas over there as well. Yeah. They only had three beers on tap. They didn't have their full lineup going yet. They're supposed to re- release more this week, but right. I, I mean, as the public is able to visit them, right. So that won't be happening. Mm-hmm. Um, which is unfortunate that that's the way it's going. 
Um, a lot of breweries, I want to make this very clear. A lot of breweries are doing either like curbside pickup or even deliveries. A lot of breweries are turning their staff into delivery drivers, basically. <laughs> and if you live within like a certain, you know, like a lot of the ones out here in, in Ventura County where we are, are doing like within the county, they'll deliver for like a $5 fee or some yeah. are even waiving the fee. But five bucks to get a bunch of beer, that's not too bad, especially if you're already ham skied. <laughs> yeah, and they got to keep it in business somehow. So, yeah, I yeah, think it's, it's a I think good it's, idea. Yeah, I think it's genius. The ones that also have food, I, I haven't heard this yet from 14 Cannons, but are, are also delivered, like if they make pizza, they like deliver pizza and beer. I don't know how they're getting around all the weird laws in California, because if there's one thing California is known for, it's fucking weird laws, Yeah, especially <laughs> with like alcohol and shit. So um, maybe they're just kind of riding on the table and they figure the cops are busy with more important shit. That's fine know. by me. I know that they lifted temporarily lifted a lot of laws. Yeah, I don't know the particulars. I just heard right. saying for the next sixty days, you know, you won't get arrested for being stands closed. Exactly. <laughs> don't don't tell Interim. <laughs> oh my god! Um, yeah, I was messaging with Nick Head Brewer at Fourteen Cannons yesterday, and he, he was saying they're still figuring out what they're doing. Yeah. But so we're talking about what they were doing. So I know they're still working on it, but. Uh, if you need some beer or just want some beer, check out your local brewery. A lot of them are doing these online orders or call-in orders, either delivery or curbside pickup, where you order it, you get there, they bring it out to your car, they swipe your card, you're good to go. You don't yeah. really have to talk to a bunch of people because you can't drink there. You, you just can't. Um, so the big important thing is to keep supporting these local craft beer and restaurants, too. Uh, restaurants right. are yeah. still doing take to go out. and take yeah. out and that kind of stuff and delivery. True so that. Drink um, it on the way home. Yeah. If, if you still have a job in this time, hopefully you haven't been affected by this uh help the uh the local beers and, and food people stay in business as much as possible uh, i'm gonna hit up integrate in a couple of days and see if they have any kegs i could buy from them gotta get that no oh, cool stock, no man. kidding yep so the one one keg's almost gone working on it so i need a new one desperate times it's, that's right so uh <laughs> check out all their websites and uh see if they're doing anything i'm trying to retweet and gram and whatever you call it as many as i see on social medias for, on our accounts the unfiltered gentleman uh, just so you know what's going on and not just local. I mean, obviously I've done a lot of local ones, but uh, if you know any breweries that are doing something cool in this time or trying to get the word out, tag us or whatever, we'll try and repost it. So as many people see it as possible. Not that we have, you know, millions of people on the grams, but we have a few and, and hopefully it helps somebody out. So uh, let us know, tell the breweries they want to fucking come on the show and talk about their brewery. You know, that's, that's fine too. We'll, we'll help them out, help them out as much as we can. Um, yeah. It sucks. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? Any uh, crotch talk? Or should we move on to some sports talk? I'm mm-hmm. good. No. All right. I mean, I could. I went to the store the other day just to buy beer, and it was, of course, packed from people <laughs> panicking. And but I, I found that beer is in steady supply. It is. I don't know Thank why. God. Yeah. I hopefully, we don't start hoarding that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, That's how you know that people are truly morons. Right. Right. They don't yeah. buy beer. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. I did. But then, yeah, the cashier, the guy there, he's like, well, you're buying the right thing, of course. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was laughing because uh, they're buying all the toilet paper, but I went to the grocery store the other day and everything in the dairy section was cleared out. <laughs> and I thought, that shit's only going to last for a week or two. Exactly. Then you're going to need all that toilet paper you've been hoarding with that spoiled milk you got on you your hands. fuck bastards. I mean, you're so yeah. stupid. So it, it is. I'm, I, I, I think I'm like the only person that gets like lactate milk because like, you know, mm-hmm. I could do without all that gas from milk. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, yeah, exactly. And, but, you know, and it's always available because I feel like I'm the only one who drinks it. Back when I drank milk, I drank that one too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but now there was nothing there. I'm like, you bastards are not drinking my milk. I know you're not. Like, yeah. I'm the one that drinks my milk. <laughs> right. They're only buying it because it was what was left. Exactly. Oh, it was my there, God. It was there. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't get the toilet paper thing. No, it's so dumb. Yeah, I mean, it, it is not one of the symptoms of no. the coronavirus. It's, it's no. You don't, you know, piss <laughs> out your ass or anything. Right. It's not the Chipotle virus. Yeah. Chipotle <laughs> it's like, virus. You know what I think happened was right after they announced the coronavirus and it was, you know, headed to the U.S. and all that, and some guy goes, oh, hey, Daryl, I'll go down the store and get some toilet paper because we're out. And then people saw him, ah, get toilet paper, get toilet paper. And you know, my everybody friend, panicked. I had a friend tell me something. They listened to a podcast where they interviewed somebody who lived in China and, and you know, went through the whole quarantine in China. And I guess a lot of people over there weren't prepared for it and ran out of toilet paper. And so this is where the hysteria is coming from. The thing is, they just needed like one case, you know, one pack of Costco toilet paper. They didn't need the entire fucking store. Exactly. They weren't quarantined that long. This has only been going on since like December. So 
just fucking buy your pack of toilet paper and get out of there. You don't need hordes I of know. toilet paper. And that's what's messing everything up. It's like, you know, if they just shop right. like they normally would, right. there wouldn't be a problem because some idiot is getting, you know, like you said, pallets of like yeah, they get, fucking right. stuff. And the funny thing is I watched an interview the other day. They were interviewing people as they came out of Costco and they're like, why are you buying toilet paper? And, <laughs> and I'd say nine out of 10 people said, I don't know because everybody else oh, is. Oh, yeah. Oh, my like, God. Are you fucking Either fucking I don't know lemmings, because dude. everyone else is or because everyone else is and I need to get some before it runs out. It's usually because everyone else yeah, is. Yeah. And, and I told you this time before about one of the customers I had at, at the store I work at mm-hmm. where he was buying toilet paper. He goes, I'm not like these idiots that are panicking. Mm-hmm. He says, but in two weeks when I got to take a shit, I don't even have to look around for something to wipe my ass with. Right. <laughs> I know a lot of friends that are buying bidets on Amazon. <laughs> Why not? Oh, yeah. Just don't even deal with it. Yeah. It's a good idea. Get a little warm squirt of water there up the go. old poop chute. And- Man. No paper necessary. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't just answer. Like, Why are you getting all that toilet paper? It's just like, bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking retards. Great. Yeah. That would have been good. Yeah. Oh, idiots. A yes. lot of them. Yeah. All right. Let's talk sports. And now the sports brought to you by cleaninguptheglass.com. Whether it's the Baltimore chop or the one-two punch, it's time for sports. Well, everything's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> yeah. All right. Time for uh, Booze Quote of the Week. Yep. Uh, no, football's still going on. Football swears they're not going to postpone or delay or anything their start of the season. Well, I mean. I know. It's, it's what? It's a way out. It's late August, right? Yeah. Uh, the NBA I still... should be in the playoffs by then. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's way out there. Um, I'm saying that's still a little optimistic. I think this is going to last us at least through the summer. I don't know. We'll see. At least the mass gatherings. You know, mm-hmm. they might yeah. loosen up on some restrictions. But I think this mass gathering thing is going to last us at least through the summer. Well, the China, didn't it start like in December? I believe so. And they're saying now people are starting to go back to work and starting to kind of, you know, but I don't think they can normal life. go into huge groups. Maybe not. Like stadium know. type things. My wife bought me a one-way ticket there right. for our anniversary. Yeah, but. have a great trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to Mr. Wuhan for me. <laughs> oh, my God, I shit you not. Somebody was telling a story about the whole situation. He goes, yeah, and just because one guy in Corona, Ch- in Corona China got the virus, I'm like, y- you know it's not named after the city, right? <laughs> Corona means crown. Okay. I just let him go. Uh, sports. The Texans have traded DeAndre Hopkins to the Cardinals. That's saw, crazy. I, I didn't see that coming. In exchange for uh, Jones, right? That's what we looked up. We uh, looked David up. Johnson. David, or Johnson, Johnson, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. Um, why? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it gives, like, you know, Kyler Murray someone, you know, to throw to. Sure. You know, now that I think Larry Fitzgerald, did he retire? I believe so. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's a nice replacement. But, like. Texans have a nice quarterback that might want to throw the ball to somebody, too. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's so weird. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Uh, Tom Brady and his free agency <laughs> rumors are really picking up. Apparently, the Bucks are now on the rumor mill oh, for Tom damn. Brady. damn. Yeah. How that, funny. That would be a move of desperation for Mr. Brady. That doesn't make any sense at all. No. Why? Why would, why would you go to the Bucks? Just yeah. <laughs> to do that. I, I think it's all a ploy to either get something out of the Patriots or to get something out of somebody. Who the fuck wants to knowingly go to the Bucks? No kidding. I mean, even if it's a max deal, it just doesn't make sense. You're going to go down there to die, basically. Agreed. It's like Jordan going the Wizards. Oh, yeah. Right? That would never happen. No. <laughs> we all forget that he did that conveniently. He the, tries to. Yeah, he does, too. <laughs> what the hell was I thinking? The Bears picked up Jimmy Graham, signed him to a two-year deal, and gave him $9 million guaranteed. I don't like eh. that. No? It's just because Trubisky's not going to be able to pass it to him. Why? Because he's terrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of terrible, Tannehill got a big contract. Did he? Did he? Yes, really? he did. Oh, geez, what did he get? Man, I wish I could remember now. Wow. God. Huge, huge. Yeah. That guy's a system quarterback, I think, right? I mean... Yeah, because they were actually at one point talking about Brady as well. And then today they announced that uh, they signed Tannehill. Wow. Jeez. What we'll a have mistake. to look that up. What a mistake. Yeah. Um, on to world news. The Olympic IOC says that the Olympics will still happen on July 24th. They're, they got real Vince McMahon about it. Like, we're not canceling shit. 
even though he finally canceled ish WrestleMania. <laughs> I know, right? So they're vow- that's going to be in Japan. So they say it's still going to happen July 24th. We shall see. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, MLB is saying that their opening days push back at least eight weeks. Uh, I think that's optimistic. The Kentucky Derby has been moved to September. I know you're all sad about that. Yes. Can I break in and give you the Tannehill? Please. Uh, it's a four-year, up to $118 million. God Jeez. damn. Man, who did he sleep with? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then basketball news. We all know the patient zero of coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Rudy Gobbert. He's the reason sports closed down. Yeah. NBA yeah. was the first one. And it was because he tested positive, and then his teammates started pe- testing positive. And I think a referee has it also, and all, yeah. all kinds of people. Yeah. Also, he's a dick bag. Like the day Besides before, that, yeah. yeah, the day before he tested, he's like rubbing on people's microphones, all the media's microphones. Like, oh, I don't a joke, yeah. yeah, I don't have it. Oh, let me rub all your microphones, dick. <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah, it's you're, funny. you're the reason there's no NBA or other sports right now. Right, right now, yeah, it's his fault. I, I'm blaming it solely on him. And, you know, um, kind of what they're looking at right now in the NBA is you know, they said they might start in June or whatever, but they're saying now the playoffs will be August, mm-hmm. and then the next year season won't start till December, yeah. like Christmas Day. Yeah, you know, my brother was telling me about yeah, that. Yeah, really? it's like it's going to push things back for a couple of years. Wow. I guess over the next couple of years, they'll just slowly move it back into normal time. I guess. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It is weird. It's going to be fucking weird, dude. Yeah. You know so what's weird. potentially good? Not maybe this year, but like for following years? We might actually have some good sports during the summer. Oh, yeah. yeah. You oh, know, I know, huh? No trip. And That's... some people who used to run a former sports show, <laughs> I will go on mention, yeah. uh, summer, you know, July and August got real tight on the news. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a whole lot of baseball talk. Yeah. And nothing else. Yeah. I was kind of oh. hoping that hockey wouldn't uh, suspend their season, just keep playing. Because you don't care? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> they'd all give each other the coronavirus and we'd never see hockey again. Yeah. I saw one meme where it was it listed everybody who canceled. It. NCAA, MLB, mm-hmm. NBA, everything. It got down to MLS. And somebody goes, what the hell is MLS? <laughs> <laughs> like, touche. Yeah. I agree. Um, anyway, so Donovan Mitchell, Mitchell, teammate of Rudy Gobert, also tested positive and was a little yeah. unhappy about it at first, too. Mm-hmm. He said uh, he needed a few days to cool off. To be honest, it took a while for me to kind of cool off. I read what he said, and I heard what he said, and I'm glad he's doing okay, and I'm glad I'm doing well. Yeah. Yeah. I'd They'll be pissed, be too. Those guys are like, you know, finely tuned athletic machines. Oh, yeah. They're just going to flex, and it's going to go yeah, away. Yeah, and I think it was Mitchell that actually said he doesn't feel bad at all. Yeah, Mitchell yeah. said he doesn't have any symptoms. Yeah. He said that's the scariest part is you can have it and not have any symptoms. Yeah. He goes, if you didn't know who I was because I was in the NBA, you wouldn't think I had it if I just walked down the street. Mm-hmm. So I've heard that, um, and this isn't like some sort of joke or shot at Mitchell or anything, but mostly women are uh, likely to have the no, the asymptomatic version of it. Like oh, really? Guys are getting it worse than women are, women are for the oh, most wow. part. Oh, wow. It's interesting. I don't know why. I don't anything about it. I'm not a doctor. So there's that. Uh, that's pretty much it for news. It's <laughs> <That's> pretty funny. <laughs> what? That's always kind of been my argument. When, you know, someone's like, you know, I'd be with somebody and I get sick and they were sick before. Like, oh my God, you're such a baby. I'm like, you know, I think men get sick harder than women. That's that's the issue. <laughs> there you <here>. go. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that kind of proved my point a little there bit. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. What a trip. Yeah. When I had the coronavirus, you know, we, I mean, we all had it. Let's, we, yeah. We, yeah. when we I had it, maybe we started it. Oh, that's yeah. right. We did. Yeah. The wife was a day be- uh, behind me in having it, mm-hmm. and my pit of despair was a Tuesday. Hers was a Wednesday, and on Wednesday she stayed home from work. Tuesday I went to work, and she I got home from work on Wednesday. And she's like, "How the fuck did you go to work yesterday?" I was like, "I, I had to, I had to go to work." She's like, "I can hardly move." Mm-hmm. I was like, "Ha ha, we're not weaker than you." When it comes <laughs> to getting sick. So. Uh, all right, that's it for sports. I haven't anybody from WNBA testing positive. That's true. <laughs> so there you go. Have they been testing them? Probably not. Oh, okay. they, don't, they don't care. Did they, they stop their season? I mean, don't they play right now? No, no, they're no they, the they're after the. I think they're after, after the, the finals. Yeah, yeah. they oh, start during right. the summer. Um, booze quote of the week: Beer is intellectual. What a shame! So many idiots drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Bradbury. True words never spoken. <laughs> All right, let's class things up a bit. This one's a classy dame with a great palate. It's Beer Babe of the Week. It is indeed. You can find her on the grams before you go. Don't forget the beer over here. 
<laughs> you can find her on the grams at just a tipsy tourist. Just a tipsy tourist. I like that. All one word, no spaces, dots, dashes, nothing like that. In this beer, in this beer, in this photo, she's drinking Sip of Sunshine from Lawson's Finest Liquids, which we had, I believe we had on the show, uh, compliments of our friend Davis over in Denver. He sent it to us. Davis so, and Denver. Davis and Denver. We love a little alliteration over here. <laughs> uh, so everybody go do yourselves a favor. Follow Just a Tipsy Tourist on the Grams, and I think you'll be glad you did. Uh, all right. I think it's about that time that we make a call to the pen. He calls to the bullpen for beer. Yes, he does. We've had those light, healthy beers. It's time to mix things up with the double IPA. On deck, Monday Night Brewing's Space Lettuce Double IPA. 8.1%, 70 IBUs, has a 413 on Untapped and a 92 on Beer Advocate. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. Space crafted double IPA, dry hopped three times, resulting in a cosmically aligned hop encounter. Witch hops, glad you asked. Citra, Mosaic, Simcoe, Mandarina, Bavaria, Simcoe, and (gasps) Yukonat. Two row, Carapils, Pilsen, Munich malts to give this one a great backbone too. Did you say Simcoe twice? I don't know, did I? I did. did. Yes. Oh, wow. Double Simcoe. I just, I, that's what they wrote, so I read it. Oh. They must double Simcoe that thing. Double Simcoe it nice. up. Nice, yeah. Oh, yeah, you love Simcoe, don't you? I do. I wasn't able to taste it this time, though. Hmm. It's double. It is quite a few. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of hop in there. True that. But oh. yeah, you're right. It did get doubled. Do you think it would kind of... Stick out a little bit more. Peek through a bit. True that. But good stuff, man. This is good. I get uh, a little fruitiness on the nose. It's got a pretty light nose for a double IPA, though. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like you said last week, uh, coming in for one of those heaters after a couple of healthy beers really kicks you in the face. It really does, man. In a good way, too. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is good. I get yeah. it. You're right. I mean, that that on the nose, it, it doesn't come close to what it tastes like mm-hmm. at all. No. And you get a little bit of the fruitiness up front. But I get that that dank on the finish. Agreed. And then followed with a little bit of that malt. That malt kind of finishes the thing up. Get a lot of that malt. Get a lot. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, well-welcomed, not-so-healthy treat after we were so good in the first round. Yeah, I know. Drinking. So, uh, good yeah, stuff. Th- this is good. Uh, this is uh, possibly your first from Monday Night Brewing. I like the name. It reminds me of Old School Raw. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Mon... Okay, sorry. Uh, all right, we will move on then, and I will stop making wrestling references. Oh, no promises. Nah. Yeah, I wouldn't count on it. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. Definitely not going to list all the breweries that closed, because it's basically all of them. Yep, it's be, a who's who. Yeah, that'd be just the entire next four shows. Uh, but the Craft Brewers Conference was canceled. That was supposed to be April 19th through, 19th through the 22nd in San Antonio. Bummer. That's been cons- canceled. Woo, words are hard. Console. I need, I need more ABV in this body. <laughs> uh, the Ballast Point sale to Kings and Convicts out of Chicago has officially closed. They are, I guess, officially craft now. Does that mean we have to have a fucking sculpin on the show? No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. Right answer. That's right. Uh, especially not a fruited one. Um, they still won't disclose how much they sold for, but uh, experts are estimating right around $68 million. Hmm. Close to that $1 billion price tag they originally paid for them. <laughs> God, God dang, yeah. man. Whew, good luck with that. Whew, they got hosed on that one. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Uh, Craftworks, which is the parent company of Gordon Biersch and Rock Bottom, we talked about this a week or two ago that they were starting to close up restaurants. Well, now they're filing for bankruptcy. Ooh. It's not looking good. Oh man! I tell you, I know we talked a little bit about Rock Bottom when we talked about the original story because I was talking <laughs> about uh, my early drinking days. But they had—I don't know if they still have it—they had a burger there that was fucking delicious. It was a Borgonzola burger, it was Gorgonzola cheese, and it had like this bourbon barbecue reduction oh, sauce geez. and like onion strings on it oh god it was so good oh wow for anybody that likes stinky cheese like blue cheese or gorgonzola it was fucking phenomenal <laughs> uh stone has shuttered their shanghai tap room um they closed it temporarily at first due to the coronavirus and now they are just closing it permanently Ooh. apparently it hasn't been doing so well in the coronavirus closure 
hurt them even more. So they have shut that one less than a year after shuttering their um, Germany tap room and brewery as well. Hmm. Hopefully they're doing okay. Yeah. They just moved on to the finals of the March Madness tournament, so they can't be doing too bad. Agreed. Yes. <laughs> uh, Rogue shuts down their... Uh, here's another name I'm going to butcher. Issaquah. Nailed it. Okay. Went with. Perfect. <laughs> Issaquah Washington Tap Room after almost 20 years. Opened in 2001, and they are shutting that down permanently. Lots of shutdowns. Fuck. Dudes Brewing <gasps> closes their Thousand wow. Oaks and Huntington oh, Beach oh, Tap Room. Dudes? Yeah. The Dudes. Holy crap. They are going, supposedly, to open two more. We'll see what the uh, situation here does to that. But apparently they're going to open one in Hollywood and Anaheim. Mm-hmm. The original Torrance Brewery is still open, as is, I believe, their uh, Valencia tap room. Moving on up. Moving on up. I got to be <laughs> honest, not a fan of their beer. <laughs> Are you just saying that because they're leaving? No. <laughs> no. 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 Mr. Boysenberry over there. <laughs> well, uh, I did like it the first time. Like I said, I went back, and I don't know what happened. Maybe it was better after like three or something. But... I'm sure it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I went back. I was like, this is not the same, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, there there was what? one IPA that I was pretty okay with. But other than that, like everything I had just just really fell short. Just wasn't good. Mm-hmm. You know, like you go to like a, I don't know, like let's say a, a BJ's restaurant or something mm-hmm. and the beers they make are fine like they're nothing special but they're they're fine they're pretty drinkable beers yeah they're good stuff i take that over dudes no oh, i'm sorry dudes prove me wrong send us something <laughs> i i don't mean to talk shit in fact i very strongly dislike talking bad about uh you know craft beer and such but it, man was it just not that great no oh, man hmm. i don't know i i guess i hadn't been there enough times to really i i feel like i enjoyed the first time or the well, the times i went yeah but i don't think i've been there enough times to really form an opinion that they suck <laughs> did you ever get the groupons they were doing no so when they first you know the first i don't know year or two they were open here i think they were doing these really good groupons where it was like two flights two full flights two pints you get to like keep the glass or sometimes it oh, was something shit. gimmicky like a frisbee or a beach ball or something there you go and also take home i think it was like 12 beers and it'd all be for like $28. Like, Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, surprisingly low price. And so we did it whenever we saw them just because it was super cheap beer. Mm-hmm. But honestly, I've never been in there not with a Groupon. Like, I would never pay full price for those. Oh, man. I just, we, we'd go Groupon it up kind of pregame before we went somewhere better. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, sorry, dudes. Prove me wrong. It no, just, uh, So, in fact, intern Brian alerted me to that story. He's like, hey, I knew you were going to be crying, but uh, <laughs> dudes just closed. Oh, man. Like, ah, that's a shame. Uh, all right, and before we close things out, fun facts about St. Patrick's Day. Because tis the day. Tis the day, even though no one remembers it. I know. <laughs> it's, it's a rough day. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is an Irish national holiday with banks, stores, and businesses closing for the day. The first St. Patrick's Day celebrated in the United States was held in, can you guess what city, what major city in the U.S.? Boston. Boston. 1737. <laughs> Shamrocks are the national flower and emblem of Ireland. Hmm. The color of St. Patrick's Day was originally blue. Blue? Blue. What the fuck? <laughs> Wearing green has become a staple of St. Patrick's Day, but the holiday was originally associated with the color blue. It's thought that the shift to green happened because of Ireland's nickname, the Emerald Isle. The green in the Irish flag and the shamrock or clover. Green <laughs> ribbons and shamrocks were worn as early as the 17th century. I know it happened. They dyed the water blue, and then somebody peed in it. <laughs> like, oh, I'm too drunk to make it the restroom. That's exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, beer is one of the most widely consumed beverages on St. Patrick's Day. Duh. <laughs> Legend says that each leaf of the clover has a meaning, hope, faith, love, and luck. 1962 marked the first time Chicago dyed their river green for St. Patrick's Day. In 1961, it was blue until someone peed in it. <laughs> yeah, told you. <laughs> Guinness is one of the most popular drinks on St. Patrick's Day. I have to admit, I am not a fan of Guinness. Oh. Doesn't do it for me. Damn, take yeah. that, Guinness. Damn, don't Guinness don't... and the dudes just taking yeah, he... L's all the Here, time. Here's the thing. I am guys. not a big fan of Irish stouts. They're usually just not my jam. And uh, Guinness is, is, is kind of low on my list of being not my jam. The mm. one thing I do like is sometimes you go to a place... Where like they mix it just right to like CO two to nitro, and you get like some creaminess, and it's not just dry, and it's not so bad. But overall, not a big fan of the uh, of the Irish stouts. Mm. 
I like this fact. Shamrock shakes are also very popular. <laughs> Great, thanks. Great fact. Yes. <laughs> that is, you know that we know what that fact is. It's that asshole that fucking updates all the trivia when you go to imdb.com. Oh yeah. Like there's all this good trivia, and then somebody goes, "Oh, they once played this fucking same character in a different movie." Right. And it's like, what the fuck? That's not a trivia about this movie, you right. asshole. Thanks, dick bag. That's right. <laughs> Uh, there are 34.7 million U.S. residents with Irish ancestry. The real oh, that number is more than seven times the population of Ireland itself. Wow! The real St. Patrick wasn't Irish. He was born in Britain around AD 390 to an aristocratic Christian family. Ah, your odds of finding a four-leaf clover are about one in ten thousand. Oh. The world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade is held in an Irish village. It lasts only 100 yards between the village's two pubs. Nice hey, yeah, that man. would be a perfect parade. That would be a great yeah. parade. Uh, to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, Chicago dyes River Green for a few hours. Yes, we already talked about that. And yeah. St. Patrick used to be blue. St. Patrick never got uh, canonized by a pope, making his saintly status somewhat questionable. Oh, mm. everyone was drunk, so he didn't care. Right. <laughs> and mainly people still don't care. That's true. That's it for us. Thank you guys for listening and joining and uh, hopefully drinking with us. Hopefully you guys have your apocalypse stock of beer on hand. So you can make it through whatever uh, nuclear winter we're about to enter. Stay very well hydrated out there, especially on St. Patrick's Day. And uh, how about you have your beer without some green food coloring in it? You don't need it. Yeah, come <laughs> on. We, we went to Integrin over the weekend on Saturday for their St. Patrick's celebration. Oh, yeah. I shit you not. I should have talked about that in the fucking crotch talk. Yeah. Uh, I shit you not. Somebody brought their own green food color <laughs> to color freaking. the beers. Uh, yeah, and she's passing it around to her friends. I'm like, you're just ruining it. Just drink the goddamn beer. She's like, oh, I got a pallet full of toilet paper, too. Like, yeah. oh, you <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Drinking her German beer with green dye. Uh, <sighs> so dumb. Anyways, theunfilteredgentleman.com is where you find us. At the Unfiltered Gentleman on social media or at Unfiltered Gents on Twitter. 805 538 Beer 2337 if you want to leave us a uh, drunk voicemail there. And like I said, keep supporting your local breweries, even in this weird, weird time. Hopefully they uh, deliver, do a little curbside pickup or something that can make uh, it a little more accessible to you. On that note, like I said, stay super hydrated. We'll catch you next week. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.